Hey guys, Sean B here and today we are playing with Liu Mei the Light Kung Fu Girl. She really sounds like the next hot Asian rapper, right? Sean B, Liu Mei. Anyway, the spare will speed good damage and attack. She has a skill that allows her to absorb attack bar and this one can be an AoE attack. And then you can go straight into twist kick, decrease more attack bar and also stun the enemy unit. So. I think she's gonna be fun as an AoE damage dealer. We're gonna bring her into guild battle today. Feel free to smash a like on this video if you enjoy the content. That's the only way I can know whether you like or dislike the content so that I can make more of the thing that you really enjoy watching and make less of the thing that you don't really enjoy watching. That's the only way I can know. There's no hidden motivation for me to ask for your like because I need to know what you want to see so I can make that kind of thing. Simple as that. Alright, who's getting turn 1 that's gonna belong to Ethna as expected. She's gonna stun my Galleon expected as well. That's why I bring in Triana to cleanse away the stun. She also allow my Liu Mei to survive just in case the child wanna go ham on her. And she tank came in pretty pretty well. So now, light dragon attack baby. Let's go, stun absorb attack bar. We land some decent absorb attack bar. We didn't manage to get full attack bar though, but now we can go for twist kick on this thing. Boom, nice stun, and she's gonna finish her off. Nice crit. What I wanna do is I'm gonna reduce the attack bar of this Cayman. Hopefully, still a turn with my Liu Mei. And that Chow can do some solid damage, my guy. Okay, couldn't steal the turn from the Cayman, so we're gonna go back to destroying this Chow proc twist kick. No proc, nothing happened. And that Chow did just enough damage so that he would not trigger Triana passive. That's kinda annoying. Steal some attack bar, twist kick. She's not procking. <laughs> they need to buff Kung Fu Girl, man. Like, improve the, the proc chance for every single thing. That would be pretty cool. Now, the armor break is gone. Trying to sleep this thing? No. We're gonna go for a light dragon attack here just to absorb the attack bar. Hopefully do some good damage. We did some decent damage on the Cayman. We're gonna reduce the attack bar of Cayman and finish him off with this. Next up, I'm gonna go twist kick, reduce attack bar of this shit. Nice stun and slow debuff too. He made violent proc out of that though. Okay, he didn't, he didn't, good. And now we're gonna try and do some more damage. Uh, we just don't proc the skill too. Dude, <laughs> come on girl, that's why you're not so good anymore on your entire family, you know? You need to proc a little bit more, Liu Mei. Drop that hot disc track on this child right now. I'm the hottest in the street. No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag and fix my teeth. Ah, you just have to sweet talk the girl a little bit. Now, Yon Hong versus Black Yon Hong. AKA, Wo Young, Wally, or the unfortunate unit that would not proc like her sister like that. Look, look at this, I'm just, Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. <laughs> okay. Very nice, very epic. Remember kids, life isn't fair. Okay. For the top round, this defense is really, really popular. There's a very easy way to deal with it. Have a water unit that doesn't have wheel runes. So I'm using my Shiho, have a Triana, so that when the Odin strike the water unit, Triana will stop that unit from dying. And then have a fire unit that can do a lot of damage to Odin because after he blow his load, he will have zero stack and that's when even a god like Odin is at his weakest. Surprise, motherfucker. Most of the time, this would not happen. <laughs> Most of the time, Bastet will move, Cayman will give Odin another shield and that means Odin will get five stack. But sometimes this kind of shit can happen. So what do I want to do? I have no freaking idea what I should do here. So the the derpness of this this defense actually screwed up my plan. Okay, can you I need the Bastet to to buff, okay? I need the Cayman to give the Odin the shield. And I need I need Odin to kill my, my boy. But it seems like nothing is happening. I want to reset the Bastet skill too. 
We didn't get it. We get ammo broken. Feels bad, man. Um, not gonna really do anything here because Odin's gonna clap my... Ah, oh, this is so weird. Because I cannot get Odin to 5 stack. Right? I don't need to heal because the passive is gonna be here anyway, right? So, now... I think I don't want to care anymore. I'm just gonna go straight to do killing the Cayman. Oh my god, I hate when defense derp and they don't do what they are designed to do. Alright? Now I lost my passive. <laughs> now I I may have to kill Odin. Let's just let's just kill Odin. Give him give him the the, the HP revive, whatever nonsense, okay? Oh Accidentally 200 IQ. You know what happened? You know, you know? Come, come, come. Let me let me tell you. I reset him with my with my skill too. Uh, and then he got sleep, which means the cooldown didn't get reduced. Which means I win. Oh wait. Where was the shield on my Daphnis? I thought I did like a lot of damage. The shield got broken? <laughs> oh shit. My I don't think my monkey has what it takes to kill this team. Normally I would never lose against this team because normally the the Odin will start doing damage on my Shiho and that would kill my Shiho. Okay, he doesn't have heal and I can consistently strip his shield with my with my Shiho, right? I think we can win this one, but it's gonna take a while. So But I'm pretty sure I can win, so I'm just trying to finish this fight. It's gonna take forever. Every time I hit him, I do like 3,000 damage. So we can talk about something else. Mm, I'm not going to Paris for the World Championship, unfortunately. What a weird side way of a topic, right? <laughs> but it has been on my mind for for quite some time now. They reached out to me, I think, a couple months back. And they asked if I'm interested to go to Paris. At that point, I thought that, oh, I'm getting invited to, to go to Paris. I was like, oh, sure. Then a week later, they told me that I may not get invited anymore. So I'm like, oh, okay. So they just want to gather interest. Is, is that the thing that's going on right now? So I waited. I tried to follow up with some counters rep that I knew and nothing really happened. And until now, no reply from the original person that trying to gather my interest. A bit feels bad, but I think it's, it's pretty okay. Because at the end of the day, if I go there, I won't be doing anything anyway. Except for maybe post on social media to gather a bit more attention for the event. But I think Comptos is more than capable of gathering their own attention via in-game or whatever. So I was a little bit disappointed. Maybe, maybe it's what I did with my video or stream that I didn't get invited. So I'm not too sure, but I think it's also can serve as a motivation for me to try harder to make more content, to get even more popular so that they can recognize me once again and invite me to the event just to, just to hang out. Because I think if I go there and do nothing, I don't really deserve a slot Comparing to like Make It A Bird or, or Stoic who are going there to cast the event or any other people that actually have a have a reason to be there. <laughs> actually, I'm just complaining about not getting free travel. I was pretty salty at first, but after thinking about it for quite some time, I think yeah, it makes sense. They they have no reason to invite me whatsoever, so I'll probably be watching on Twitch hang out with you guys whoever decide to join my small little stream to watch the world championship i think it's gonna be super crowded in the official stream the chat's gonna just gonna go crazy half the chat will be complaining about stoic commentary how he shout all the time <laughs> but yeah pretty pretty sad that i'm not getting i'm not going to paris i was hoping to see a uh, fellow streamer from over the world gathering in paris once again because the last World Championship, I was invited to go to Korea. And I think that was the final nail in the coffin for me to decide whether I should go full-time with content creation. And 
being able to meet all the other streamers around the world, being able to meet all the different people in the gaming industry, it it really inspired me to just say fuck it and do what I really want instead of doing more at a corporate job that I didn't really enjoy or have any passion in. Okay, this is getting way too long. That Cayman's actually healing. <laughs> so yeah, because a lot of people keep asking me, are you going to Paris until I think yesterday? And I have to keep reminding myself about the, the thing that I'm not going, which is a few bad man. But on the other hand, it's quite, it's quite fine too. So yeah. I hope that if you're going to the event, have a lot of fun because it's gonna be pretty amazing, I can assure you that. So have a lot of fun in the event. Ooh, all four hit goes straight into Juno and another one to Juno face and she's gone. Man, she can be like a budget ager or something like that. But yeah, have a lot of fun. I think Summoners for event are always done really, really well. Very good in terms of food, uh, things that you can do to hang out. And this time it's going to be done by the EU office. And in my opinion, interacting with Comptour's office, I think EU office has the most fun bunch of them all. But yeah, wow. We are just chilling here, controlling the attack bar, having no problem at all against these kind of sad units. Come on, light dragon attack, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Not bad, not bad damage, not bad damage, and bye bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was too deep into the, the thingy and I didn't even commentate on the fight. Let's go back to Summoner's War action. Okay, let me choose a tower real quick. Last fight, this is the plan here. Daphne is gonna use a skill 3 on my Triana, who is on Nemesis, and may gain enough attack bar to move in between. But if she doesn't, the bomb will probably land on Galleon. If it lands on Triana, it's fine too. Because I can still unleash my light dragon attack. For the one below, we're going to go in with a Katarina Kong with the Bailey leader. I see this team a lot because the leader skill for Katarina is just perfect. And if you kill one or two units, Bailey can just destroy the red... Wait, where did the shield run come from? Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot about the shield wheel Galleon. Uh, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. But we still have a chance at light dragon attack, baby. Come on. Stun. Nice stun. We actually kill Ciara. And we can go and stun him again. Oh shit, we didn't stun. We didn't manage to stun. And then this Bastet can do the AoE debuff on me. Okay. You know what? Why I said okay? Because she didn't land the glancing debuff. Pro. Uh oh. Ah! Oh my god, I survived. I survived. What do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna reduce the Bastet attack bar, hopefully. And then we're gonna get in between and kill him. Okay. <laughs> oh, I derped right there. I derped right there. I, I thought I wouldn't have shield rune, but I did. But I did. Okay. Light dragon attack, absorb all attack bar, 1v1. Liu Mei is super, super strong. Look at this. Boom. Instant turn, baby. Let's go. <laughs> 2v3, man. 2v3 with a sacrificial piece. Now we buff Kanarina. And then he's gonna go straight to my bell. Doesn't really matter, we're gonna try and kill somebody. We kill two units, and Bailey's gonna unleash his load on this LD Nat 5, baby. Boom, 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 boom. If it's one unit, Bailey can do so much damage. It's really insane. Let's hit one win for Liu Mei and RTA. How about that? <gasps> I need to resist. This Gany is way too fast for his own good. Now, that's great. That's great news. He's confused. If he hit my bird and get revenge. Come on, get revenge, baby. Get revenge. Get revenge. <laughs> get revenge. Fuck. Don't kill Liu Mei, please. <gasps> Liu Mei survive, boys. Liu Mei survive. Oh my god. It's so close. I need the heal. I need Sierra to not be too fast. I need Sierra to not be too fast. Come on. Do it for the YouTube video. Let me move. Oh. Oh no. She may do enough damage. <gasps> Liu Mei! She survived! Okay, okay. We kill... We kill the damage dealer. Yeah, we kill the damage dealer. Oh my god, the glancing debuff. I glanced four times. That is bullshit. <laughs> okay. He had bad RNG. I can have bad RNG too. Let's go, baby. Can I kill? We kill and we stun! Holy cow! What do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna slow down this girl. Oh, we didn't manage to get anything. We killed her. 
he tried to kill the content he tried to kill the content but you are gonna pay you are gonna pay we're gonna slow him down all right you're not moving today son you dead you dead and we finish him off and now we're gonna slow down the hathor oh shit i gotta move i gotta move again he's gonna take a turn i need a violin here oh no oh Lil Man survived! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Yep, yep, that's a hundred percent win rate for Lil Man. I'm done. I'm out of here, bro. I am out of here. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed Lil May. If you want to see her again, definitely text 3 send to 6969 to see her in the next show. Drop a like down below. Leave a comment to let me know if you text the message. And I'll see you guys next time.